Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today we have another snack crate video because y'all seem to really like snack crate videos when I put them out. So we're doing another one. We have April's snack crate. I got this magical blue little box filled with snacks and we're gonna find out what country we're going to be snacking from today. Now, before we get started, please give this video a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And also subscribe to my channel. I put out videos twice a week and it also helps me to be able to continue to make videos just like this. So let's find out what snack crate we got this month. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, we have the Ukraine today. We will be eating snacks from the Ukraine. Don't know much about snacks from the Ukraine. So this will be fun. This will be fun. All right. So let's open it up. As always, we have our fun little facts about the Ukraine. I always love seeing these. Let's see. Let's see what, what's up with the Ukraine. Huh. Okay. So here's a fun fact about the Ukraine. Ukrainians wear their wedding bands on the ring finger of their right hand instead of their left hand. Interesting. Here in the United States, we do the left hand with a wedding ring. And also, I'm gonna mispronounce this. Kiv, Kiv, Ukraine's capital has the world's deepest metro station. It goes down 105.5 meters or almost 350 feet. Wow. Okay, so that's a really deep train station. <laughs> Let's see what we got. We have this handy dandy cheat sheet that's gonna explain all the snacks that we got, but oh my gosh. That's a big bag that's sitting right out front there, isn't it? Okay, we're gonna pull out this nice big bag here. That is a letter that I don't have in my alphabet. How am I gonna pronounce this? Okay, handy dandy cheat sheet it is. The Salute Corn Sticks. Um, it has letters that aren't in the English language, so I genuinely, I'm not even going to try and pronounce whatever, whatever this is. I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I don't know what half of the letters are. Okay, so this is called the Salute Corn Sticks. This is an all-natural puffed corn stick. It is loaded with savvy, okay, sour cream and dill flavored. I love anything dill and I love sour cream, so I'm gonna love these. Paired with a frost, pair it with a frosty beverage. I don't have one of those, but that's what they recommend. So let's open this. This is a nice big bag. Oh my God, and it's filled all the way to the top. Oh, it smells really good. A little puff, a little puff. You'll have to excuse me. I think I just went to heaven for a second. Oh my gosh. Okay, I can't stop eating these. First of all, it's not like an overpowering dill or sour cream flavor, very subtle. But the corn chip itself, when you bite into it, it kind of just melts into your mouth. It's one of those like corn chips, corn sticks, corn puffs, whatever you want to call them, where you bite into it and it just instantly dissolves. And it tastes, oh, it's just really good. And this is a huge bag. I really like it. I'm gonna end up eating this whole bag. Okay, first off, so we are off to a great start with the Salute Corn Sticks. Those are really good. These are so good. This is like, it's very light. So it feels like you're almost eating nothing. It's not heavy or anything, so it's very light. I feel like I could eat this whole bag in like five minutes. So we're gonna put that away before I do that. Okay, this sticks out to me. This Big Bob something, is this something? Okay, so there's peanuts in here. Oh, it's wasabi covered peanuts. They're called Big Bob Nuts. Bite into the perfect adventure snack and experience the sharp and explosive flavor. Okay, so I've had wasabi before. I'm, I don't really know how I feel about it. Some people are like, wasabi is really spicy, and I'm like, I'm someone who really eats a lot of spicy. I love spicy foods. I eat hot peppers as a snack, just pickled hot peppers out of the jar. So spice isn't really what I'm worried about, but I've had wasabi and I didn't really like the taste. So um, wasabi covered peas, let's try it. Hmm, kind of tastes like a spicy barbecue. Okay, mm. it has a very like horseradish-y, 
horse radishy taste to it, which is fine. I don't know if I really like the taste of wasabi itself. Like, yes, I taste the spice and I like spicy things. It's not that spicy to me, but I probably burnt off most of my um, taste buds at this point. I can't tell, I kind of like that horse radishy kick you get at the end, but also I kind of don't, I don't know. This is, this is a, this is a this for me. Like I definitely can see myself just snacking on these, but it's like one of those things where you eat it a lot. You're like, I kind of like it, but I also kind of don't like it. Do you know what I'm saying? Does anyone else have those type of foods? I mean, it's good. If you're someone who doesn't like anything that has a hint of spice in it, don't get this. You'll think it's too spicy. I'm gonna put that as like, a, I don't know, like a 3.5 out of five, if I had to rate it. Let's see, if you like wasabis and peanuts, you might like that. So let's see what the, this just says black on it. It literally just says black. So, Cresco, K-R-E-S-K-O, Cresco, Cresco. Yeah, Creco sticks loaded with essential vitamins and minerals. Okay, this is a bit of a health snack, I guess. Get your day started right with this crispy cereal tube loaded with sweet milk cream. So it's like a cereal stick. Okay, I know fruit, when I was younger, I would get like the Fruit Loops version of these probably. Okay, it just says black on it, so I don't know what that flavor is. It's just black. But I like the packaging. It's very sleek, the black and white. Okay. Oh, it smells good. It smells like chocolate. So there's a little, okay, it's a little. Ooh. Okay. I might have to save these and eat them for breakfast tomorrow because these are really good. It's like a chocolate cereal stick with like, it tastes like an Oreo. It tastes like an Oreo, but in stick form. It doesn't tell me what flavor this is or if there are other flavors, but um, I really like this. I, I do, I really do like this. I'm gonna have one more. Oh no, oh this is a big one. I guess the other one broke. It's like an Oreo, like a cookie and milk at the same time. That was good. Five out of five, 10 out of 10, 100 out of 100. Those are so good. So far are two really, really like amazing things. This, the wasabi peas don't get, those are interesting though. Um, I know you could get them here too in a, um, the United States, but in terms of what I usually get from Snack Crate, they never put anything that is considered spicy in there. So I kind of like that they added that. So let's see. Okay. These are just called Fizzy Boom. Fizzy Boom, and there's one in orange, so this is orange flavored, it says, and this is lime flavored. I'm guessing these are the candies that kind of like fizz in the center and on your mouth. These are kind of fun. I always like getting stuff like this, and they just kind of like fizz and pop in your mouth. Uh, it's like they have a little bit of soda, like they're carbonated in a way. So this is what it looked like. Okay. Ah, it's fizzing. It's like a soda in a candy. You know, it's got that soda-y fizz. Tastes like an, uh, like an orange crush, really. We're talking about soda. It's good, I've had, I've had candies like this though. So that's not unusual. That's not like new or anything, but I do like it. It's tickling my tongue. <laughs> it's taking a while to dissolve. It might be here a while. Okay, so that was the orange one I just tried. Really good, tastes like an orange dreamsicle. Um, we're gonna try the lemon, uh, not the lemon. We're gonna try the lime one because I, I love anything that's lime. Um, so here we go, this one's nice and green. Let's try it. This says lime fresh, but it kind of has this like minty, have you, we grow at my house, we grow like fresh mint, like straight out of the ground. Not like mint when you get a peppermint, but like straight up spearmint. And this tastes like raw, fresh spearmint with like a hint of lime. It tastes like spearmint. 
like fresh picked right off the vine spearmint. If you grow spearmint, you would know what I'm talking about, that, that, that taste. But it's mainly, that is a unique flavor. I like it, I do, I do, I like it. That's interesting, that's pretty good. I give these a thumbs up. Um, I'd give them like a four out of five if I'm rating them, because we have, I would give them a three, but the spearmint flavor is really interesting. We have very similar things. There are very similar candies like this here in the United States, so it's nothing like completely unique, but it is good. It is good. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Our next thing we're getting into, now that we've gone through the candy, we're now getting into the chocolate bars. I always love trying the chocolate bars. So this is Ross Hen Lazy Cow. This is called the Lazy Cow. Um, a delightful, crispy vanilla wafer sandwich with sweetened condensed milk cream and coated in a rich milk chocolate. Oh, so it's like a, a wafer bar. I love wafer bars. Wafer bars are one of my favorites. Okay. Nothing too unique because we have wafer bars like this in the United States, but it is very good. Very, the wafers are very light. I like that. Very light, airy, fluffy. Yeah, I like this. This is good. It's got little, yeah, you can see like the milk cream on the inside and the little wafers. Pretty good. I'd give it a three out of five. I mean, it's good, but it's nothing new. Um, and we have the last thing. I hate how quickly I'm, I hit the bottom of the box. Every time I get them, I'm like, oh, we're just getting started. And the next thing I know, I see the bottom of the box completely empty. It's just it's completely empty. Unfortunate, but that time has come. The final item, and I am the, I saved this for last because I'm very excited about this. This is the Rossen Dark Cocoa Bar. Named after the owner and former president of the Ukraine. Okay, I hope I pronounced it right then. I'm sorry if I didn't. Um, the elegant dark chocolate bar is filled with a rich and creamy fondant. Now, if you have watched any of my snack crate videos, every time they send me chocolate, I complain that they only ever send milk chocolate because like milk chocolate's fine, but I am a dark chocolate person at heart. Give me the bitterest dark chocolate you can find. So when I saw that this said dark chocolate on it, I was like, oh, I'm very excited. So let's try, I love it. It's, it, it looks so fancy. It's got like the golden wrap, you know, like a golden chocolate bar. This is a, this is a high class chocolate bar. Oh, I love the bitter dark chocolate scent. Yes, it's nice and dark. I love it. I love dark chocolate, ooh. Okay, that broke really nice. So it's got a fondant in the middle. Kind of what it looks like. The chocolate part's already seeping out the middle. Let's see here. Mmm. The fondant has a very like, caramely taste to it, for sure. A very rich dark chocolate, very rich. The fondant was very nice. Kind of melted in your mouth, which I kind of like that like melty chocolatey. It was a really nice, rich, thick chocolate. I love dark chocolate. Anything dark chocolate, I will eat. So, um, but that was a really rich dark chocolate. I like the fondant. It was kind of like a caramely, chocolatey, I don't know what type of fondant it is, if there was a specific flavor but it was, it kind of had to me taste like a uh, light caramel type of fondant, but very tasty. Part of me wants to have another one, but I'll save it for later. But that was, that was a really good chocolate bar. I finally, they sent me something dark chocolate. It only took, how many months have I been doing this since October? It's April. Yeah, like six, seven months of doing snack crate and they finally sent me dark chocolate. So thank you snack crate. Also, thank you, Ukraine, you know? That was a good dark chocolate. That was a good chocolate. Um, this was, it was good, but um, nothing new, nothing new. Oh my gosh. Um, I don't know what flavor black is, but this is really good. 
the the Cresco Cresco. I'm so someone's gonna comment below that I'm mispronouncing it. Every video I do, I know. I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm mispronouncing things. It's my bad. But this was really good. These like little like these little cereal sticks, they're good. I would, honestly, I would buy a ton of these and just bring them with me to like, when you have to work in the morning, you gotta go somewhere, class, you just kinda really quick, grab and go, tasty. One of my favorite things from this entire thing. This was so good. I really like this and I haven't had something like this. I know we have like Fruit Loops cereal sticks, but this was really good. I really like that one. The wasabi peas, they were interesting. They were, I like that they sent something unique, something a little different, um, something spicy, cause I love spicy foods. They always send really sweet stuff, so I'm glad that they sent something spicy. Um, I don't know if I like the taste of wasabi though. Like I've had it before, I keep trying it, and it's like one of those mixed things where like, you kinda like it, you kinda don't. You kinda like it, you kinda don't. You still eat it, but you're kinda like, mm, why am I eating this, do I like it? Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Do you have foods like that? I feel like everyone has that one food, like you don't like it, but you eat it and you'll keep eating it, but you're like, I don't like it, but I do like it, but I don't like it. I don't know, maybe I make no sense to you, but. And then these little, these little corn sticks, these little corn puff, sour cream and dill. Kind of tastes like popcorn a little bit, like movie theater popcorn. You got the, it melts in your mouth. You know, sour cream, dill, I love both those flavors. Two of my favorite flavors. These are so good. After I film this video, I'm gonna go get a sandwich because I haven't eaten yet today other than this. I'm just gonna eat this with my sandwich. This is gonna be gone in like an hour. Less than that. I think this is my favorite thing. So good. Um, I would buy these all the time. They were in the United States. If I walked into a grocery store and I saw this, I'd get like 20 of them. Highly recommend. These are so good. I'm just gonna keep eating it. You can just watch me eat it for the next hour. Just kidding. Okay. And that was this month's snack crate from the Ukraine. Thanks Ukraine. Um, thanks snack crate. You guys have some great snacks. I loved it. Really good. Really interesting stuff. Um, I love trying snack crates. I get them every month and I think I will just get them forever. Like I don't think I'll ever cancel my subscription because they're so fun, so tasty, and I love it. Um, yeah, I hope you like this video. If you are from the Ukraine, please comment below. I always love hearing from people who live in these countries when I try their snacks, talking about it. I love interacting with you guys, so definitely comment down below and also, um, give this video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and also subscribe to my channel i put out new videos twice a week check it out see if you like the vibe you know um and it helps me continue creating videos so subscribe if you want to anyway i hope you have an absolutely wonderful day